Okay, so hi class, welcome to the online session. We uh, this is for histology laboratory, and we are going to discuss about the cell structure. Um, so when we look at the light micros uh, light microscopy sections of a certain slide, um, usually what we only would appreciate would be the the major cellular structures like the nucleus, the cytoplasm, and some of it co of its contents, like uh, the endoplasmic reticulum. But other than that, you have to appreciate the other organelles using uh, a more sophisticated type of microscope, which is the electron microscopy. Okay, so this is I think this is your first time to handle the virtual microscopy section of the Davao Medical School Foundation. So I'm going to give you some sort of a tutorial into how to view the slides, okay? So I'm going to minimize myself. Look at this one. This is the virtual microscopy section. So you're going to press on that button and then you will see the medicine slide box. You open it up and then histology and then we have the cell database. So you have several slides over here. What we are going to discuss would be the cervicovaginal smear, the peripheral blood smear, the brown skin, and the spinal cord. Although in the spinal cord, this is still undergoing maintenance, we have to modify the slide. Uh, so what I'm going to show to you right now would be a uh, section from the web Okay, an image from the web, which more or less would show uh, similar appearances. Okay. So cervical vaginal smear, you open it up. Okay. Okay. So what you're going to see would be an image. If you are unable to see the image, there's on this particular area, it's, uh, it would be written here, the Ad Adobe Flash Player. You allow it to act, and then you would be able to see the slide. If you're still unable to see the slide, you use this area, you click it up, and you see this Flash Player over here, and place it in the Allow, uh, allow button. So if you are able to see the, uh, the image, what you need to do is you zoom it. So what is a cervical vaginal smear? It's a smear that would be taken uh, during a pap smear screening. And a pap smear is a screening tool for cervical cancer. So our first slide is composed of cells that um, that would help us appreciate the presence of the nucleus and the cytoplasm. So these cells would line the outer cervix of the uh, outer section of the cervix or outer portion of the cervix, which is called the ectocervix. So these are what we call as the squamous cells. So the squamous cells would be appreciated by having the presence of a centrally placed nucleus. It is dark. It possesses abundant pink cytoplasm, and this is due to the presence of filaments called keratin. And then the cellular membrane would be well-formed and well-marginated. So there are a lot of squamous cells in the slide. Okay. So next, we are going to look into the peripheral blood smear. Okay, so I'll just check on the other end. Okay, so this particular slide would be coming from the blood. So you zoom it, you would be able to see a lot of cells. And the cells here would be composed of red blood cells and white blood cells. Okay. So the red blood cells are so abundant, okay, it fills up the entire 
uh, magnification area. Uh, these cells are called erythrocytes or red blood cells. And they are devoid of their nuclei. Okay, because once they go out of the marrow, their nuclei would be excluded uh, through uh, the process. And uh, so th these cells would be mainly composed of cytoplasm. Okay, so these are the red blood cells. Uh, what about this cell? So this cell is a white blood cell. It is known to have a large nucleus. It has the chromatin pattern. Okay, and very scanty cytoplasm. So this is a lymphocyte, which uh, is a form of white blood cell. So there's another uh, white blood cell in the area, this one. This is called uh, the neutrophil or segmenter. So unlike that of the lymphocyte, which would show you uh, one big nucleus, this nucleus would be segmented. So there's a presence of globule lobations. So it sometimes would have three lobes or five lobes, but it's one, it's still uh, one nucleus. Okay. So it is uh, connected to each other by a very short, thin okay, strand. So this is the neutrophil or segmenter. You can also see very small structures over here which is involved in coagulation. These are what we call as the platelets or thrombocytes. Okay. So now let's go to the next slide, which is the brown skin. Okay. okay. So for the brown skin, this is a section uh, showing to you the lining epithelium and then you have the connective tissue underneath. So you zoom it up, magnify, and you would be able to appreciate the lining epithelium here, which would be the squamous cells. Okay. Okay. So these squamous cells would be stratified. Okay. So there's a difference between what you see in the smear and what you see in the tissue. In the smear, you would see individual cells. In the tissue, you can see aggregates of the cells forming their function, which is to serve as the epithelial lining. Um, <clears throat> these squamous cells are packed, okay, and they would form the stratified squamous epithelium. Uh, if you go into a high power magnification, you would appreciate that uh, the cells would be separated by these junctions. Okay, they have the abundance of the cytoplasm. They have a round nucleus, which is basophilic or has a bluish color. Okay, and you have the nucleus present. And then there's uh, an accumulated pigment that is seen at the basal layer of the stratified squamous epithelium. Uh, these are what we call as melanin pigments, which imparts the brown color of our skin. And in normal conditions, they are located at the basal layer, okay, which will be composed of the basal keratinocytes. And then our last slide, would be the spinal cord, okay? So this is the spinal cord. However, if we're going to zoom it up, you will only be able to appreciate the presence of the, uh, the nerve fibers, the axons. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you uh, a picture. Okay, so I have to share screen first. Okay, so this is what you're going to see there. Uh, you would appreciate the presence of these uh, neurons, which are large cells that would be found in the gray matter. And they would possess a large nucleus. This is the cell body, 
you have the nucleolus over here, and then you have some uh, processes or others would call projections, okay? And they are the axons and the dendrites, okay? What about those granular bodies found in the cytoplasm? So those are what we call as the nissel bodies, okay? So granular dark bodies found in the, in the cytoplasm, uh, they can go or extend into the dendrites, okay? This would be the dendrite. Uh, it will not extend to the axon, okay? So uh, those are the slides that you're going to appreciate in the spinal cord, okay? So, uh, <clears throat> so those are the slides that we have for this meeting. Uh, kindly uh, label uh, your manual and then submit them later, okay? So thank you and good day.